Imagine. Between 115 and 116 damage. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. The unthinkable. And you're not prepared. What would you do? What if you could be prepared? What would you do? An active assailant comes onto a campus intending on doing harm. What can you do to protect yourself and others? I'm Chief Ed McSheffrey of the California University of Pennsylvania Police Department, and we'd like to share with you a set of practices designed to increase the chances of surviving an active assailant incident. Here at Cal U, we use the ALICE concept. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. What follows are three scenarios dealing with an active assailant on campus using the ALICE concept. To all appearances, he was just an average guy. I didn't know him, but a friend of mine did. I had class with him. He always seemed angry. I had class with him, but didn't really know him well because he never participated much. I really knew him because he dated my roommate, but then they broke up. How did he get into this mindset? We don't know. I didn't even know he had a gun. He'd actually been training for this. he showed up on campus, there were some telltale signs that he was an active assailant. Primarily carrying a large bag, way too large to be just a book bag, indicating the possibility of weapons and ammunition. Two students noticed the assailant entering a building with a weapon. They immediately located a campus emergency phone and notified the police. In making that call, the students initiated the first step of Alice to alert, and a text alert was sent to the campus community advising of the potential threat. All officers were notified immediately and put into action. At this point, let's look at scenario A. The last class period, we were talking about how people in this region tend to say things in a different... Guys, there's an active shooter. Get out. Let's take a look at what went right in scenario A. The professor received the alert through the university network. Given there were no sounds of gunshots or struggle in the building, she made the decision to evacuate. She told us to run, to scatter, to find a safe place. This action deprived the assailant of a captured set of targets. Now let's move on to scenario B. In the last class period, we were talking about how people in this region tend to say things in a different... Guys, there's an action. <laughs> Once again, by utilizing the ALICE concept, we have a positive outcome. Let's take a look at why. In scenario B, the assailant makes his way into a building, shots are fired, and his presence is known. She orders the students to barricade the door, turn off the lights, turn off cell phones, and move themselves away from the door as not to be a target. Had the students been in a room with an outward opening door, they could have secured the room by attaching a belt, extension cord, computer cable, necktie, or something to the handle or door closure, deterring the assailant from entering. She told us to stay as quiet as we could and stay away from the door. And we did. And then he moved on. At this point, you should be quietly working with others formulating a plan to counter the assailant 
in the event that he gains access to the room. This is what we'll be examining in scenario C. In the last class period, we were talking about how people in this region tend to say things in a different... Guys, just shoot her in the door. Let's take a look at scenario C and see what they did correct. When the assailant made his way through the door, the students didn't freeze. I just threw my backpack right at his face. They rushed him as a group. The young lady threw a bag at his face, distracting him. This deprived him of any one clear target and they were able to take him to the ground. Once on the ground, they got the firearm away from him and other students secured the weapon underneath a garbage can. They made no effort other than to restrain the assailant and wait for the appropriate police response. Remember, officers were responding in a tactical fashion. It is vital that you listen to their instruction. They don't know who the assailant is. You just have to listen to them. For everyone's safety, it is best to keep your hands in the air hands open, make no sudden movements, and listen to the police commands. Yeah, we're all fine. Yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> While it is impossible for us to cover every scenario you may encounter, by utilizing the Alice concepts, you have a better chance of surviving one of these critical incidents. Remember, alert, lockdown, inform, counter, and evacuate. Because the students listened to the officer's commands, officers were able to get the assailant detained and the students to safety. I made it. I made it. I made it because I knew what to do.